Hello, my name is Felipe Gavilan, and in this video, we are going to learn how to use a catch all parameter so that we can implement the following. I want that each user have their own profile page, and I want to be able to access that profile page in the following manner. I want to be able to say mydomain.com slash Felipe and then access Felipe's profile or slash Gloria and then access Gloria's profile. And if I say something like slash Robert, but there is no Robert profile, then I want to get a custom photo for. So let's see how to do that. So let's create a new MVC application. Let me say here MVC and I will choose model view controller. I'll name it dynamic routes and then create. So let's see what we want. Let me press Ctrl F5 to run our application and we're here in Google Chrome. What I want to do is that I want to be able to say Felipe and then get Felipe's profile. So for that, we're going to use a catch all parameter. So let me come here to the program class and in here, after this map controller route, I will create another map controller route. I will say map controller route and I'll give it a name. I'll call it profile. So profile comma, I need to define a pattern in which I will put the catch all parameter. So in order to introduce a catch all, we do it like this. And then after this, I can put the name of the parameter like user profile. I will be able to access this value in the action. So then let me put here defaults because I need to define the action that is going to get executed. So let me say controller home comma action equal to profile. We're going to create this action in just a moment. Let me just put a semicolon here. And as you can see, we have to kind of route here. We have the traditional routes which are controller, action, and an optional ID. And also we have this new custom route. So let's come here, let's go to the home controller. And I want to come here and I want to say public I action result profile. And here I will put a string and the name of this catch all parameter that I put here, user profile. So let me say user profile here. And notice that here I have profile, which is this action that I define here. Now I can do the following. Let's pretend the following. Let's say that I want to have if user profile equal to Robert, then I want to say not found. And here I will say return view profile and the model, which is user profile. Now, of course, in real life, you would connect to a database to verify that the user profile exists. But in our case, we just want to say that if the user profile is Robert, then we want to have a not found 404 return. So now let's create this view. So let me come here to views home at view, razor view empty, I'll name it profile. And then I will say model and the model will be a string. Let me delete this. And I just want to say something like a three. This is model profile page. All right. So let's see what we got. Let me press control F5. I will just say rebuild and apply changes and notice something. Notice that my application still works. I can go to privacy and I'm here in privacy policy or I can go to the home page. But if I write something like Felipe, then we have this is Felipe's profile page or we can say Claudia and then we have this is Claudia's profile page. And if we say Robert, we're going to have this ugly 404. So how can we create a custom 404 page? There are several ways to do that. I will use the following. I will come here to the program class I will come here and after this here, I want to say app use a status code with redirects, which will allow me to redirect the user in the case of errors like a 404. So in my case, I want to say home slash error status code equal to and here the status code will get placed. Now let me put here a semicolon 
And then after that, I want to come to this error action in here in the home controller. So let me say here int status code and then if status code is equal to 404, then I want to return a custom view. So I will say not found semicolon here else we're going to have a catch all view just in case. So in this way you can have custom code to handle different status codes. So what I want to do now is to create this view. So let me come here, home, add, view, empty, not found. And I will just say here something like, this is a custom 404 page. All right, so let me save. This will recompile my application. And now we can see that everything still works. I can go to Felipe and everything works. But if I go to Robert, then we have our custom 404 page. If you want to learn more about .NET and other technologies, please check out my Udemy courses today. Link with a discount in the description of this video. Thank you.